Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Project Management and Control. This video tutorial I'm making to demonstrate how we can add new resources to our project in Primera P6. So let's see what are the resources. Resources are the things as manpower or equipment or consumable material, material or that are required to complete any project. In Primera P6, resources are required and to be defined. In Primera P6, we are using three type of resources. No, three type of resources. The first type is the uh, labor uh, resource type is the labor, which can be defined any skill or non-skill labor, and any individual. For example, our company, if our company have project manager, so we can assign any specific project manager to that project. It will be a uh, labor resource. Or similarly, the uh, if we have a skill or non-skill labor, it can be assigned to any project. The uh, the other type of the resource in primary pieces are using is non-labor or equipment resources. Non labor or equipment resources are considered the manpower or equipment from the subcontractor and supplier or uh, any company equipment that are required for the project. Uh, then the third type of the resource type in primary P6 is the materials, which can be considered as any consumable material required to complete the project. It, in construction project, it may be quantity of concrete, quantity of steel fixing, block masonry, etc. And these quantities are defined and assigned to all the activities in the project related to this particular uh, resource. So really, in if we are using any IT project, we can assign that internet hours or any external uh, uh, stationary, uh, 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 any external support we are using, it uh, can be considered as a consumable, consumable and we are using in rent for it, it can be considered here as a, also for material, uh, for uh, here in the in in a construction project, normally it is considered as consumable material and which is required to finish any project. As I just said, that it may be a any quantity of concrete, quantity of steel fixing, block masonry, etc. So let's see how the resources are uh, look uh, seems in Primera P6. So if 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 your project is resource loaded, and then just open the project and select the resources from the left uh, vertical menu, we will see this in a while. And from there, just select the resource window, uh, select the resources. It will open the resource window. In the resource window, if you see my uh, follow my mouse, and you see here there's a drop down arrow. Just click this drop down arrow. Uh, it will open the drop down filter of our menu. From here, select the filter and select the current project resources only then it will show you only the current project resources then from there select any resources and select the details so in the in this case you can there you can find that the three types of labor resources are defined which may be a labor resource non-labor resource and material resources so if it is a material then you need to define the unit of this material also um, uh, material so for example turn cubic meter, linear meter, or liter, etc. And similarly, if you are using your Primera for the cost management also, then, and you want to assign the calculating the resource, calculate uh, cal uh, overtime also, you have to click that overtime allowed. Then if you click this overtime allowed, then you need to assign the factor. For example, overtime rate is 1.5 of the normal rate. Then you need to select the uh, factor 1.5. You can see it's defined, it should be as per the project uh, calendar to be specified for the resources and it is advisable that resource calendar should be the same as the activities calendar so that there is no conflict between the two. And then the default unit of time, how many uh, how many hours this resource will work and then some we have some default setting like for example auto compute uh, actuals it, uh, the primary will auto compute auto uh, actual automatically and calculate the cost from the unit for example if you have uh, 50 units uh, 50 units done and your cost per unit is 50 then 50 times 50 it will be 200 2500 uh, uh, dollars so it will be calculated automatically if you define in the prior graph. we will see all this in a while let's start in uh, this all resource uh, settings and assign adding a new resource in the prior p6 in the p6 uh, in the prior p6 itself so let's open our program <music> I'm opening on one of my old projects. This is this project is related to high rise building or a tower, a tower project. So if you see the project, uh, this is a project name, and here you can see that at the bottom the resources are defined, and uh, you can select any resource from here. So as I say that in in in, the, in your primary P6, if you go on the left uh, vertical menu, there are several. Uh, of, 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 of several options or several 
commands are available. For example, you want to open the new project, uh, you want to go to the uh, projects folder, this is the resource, then reports, and then tracking, etc. So if you want to go to resources, just click on the resources, it will open the resource window. So you can see here that there's so many, uh, if, uh, you normally when you open the resource window, it will show you all the project resources. So if it's not there, for example, if you go and just below the uh, activities or project, you find this uh, drop down uh, arrow. From this drop down arrow uh, menu, just select the filter and from here you can see that all active resources, all resources, current project resources or timesheet management manager. So if you see all resources, it will uh, it will open the pro all the resources for the project. So if you press Control minus button, it will minimize or uh, it will minimize all the resources here. And if you similarly, if you press Control plus, it will expand all the resources. So our project is RR5. Uh, just open our project. This is RR5, our project Najmat RR5. This is RR5 is the second name. And under this, they have so many resources already assigned. So if you are going to add new resources here, just click on the project name for going to project and to avoid any confusion, between, uh, maybe you assign a resource to on to other projects which is not related. So it is ad advisable to just uh, keep the information up to uh, limited to your project only. So in this case, just click this drop down uh, arrow, go to filter and select current project resources only. And then um, in the resources, uh, uh, it will be assigned under resource. So for example, if you want to click plus here, in order to resource, uh, the filter may be changed to display all the resources. Okay, we can select all. And then you can see that our resource, uh, new resource wizard is open. Here you have to define the resource ID. For example, my resource is R5 and uh, R5. And this is, uh, for example, we have a, uh, we have a, like aluminum cladding LC. And then you put the aluminum cladding for facade. Okay, then you go from here next. Here you can specify that what is the resource type, labor, no labor or material. If you select the material, then you need to select the units of measurements also. So if you select here, uh, if you click this uh, down three dots, it will open the units uh, win windows. From here, you can select the required units. If it is not there, we can go, we can go in, in the admin and admin categories. In the admin admin categories, you find units of measures. So just click this units of major. If your units are if our units are available here, then it's okay. In mine are already defined most of the most of resources units. If it's for you the resources units are not defined, you can add it from here. So for example, if you see here, I'm I'm counting the paint quantity. Uh, so I just add here, and from here I can see liter because paint normally paint are normally count as a liter or gallon. A gallon is, uh, or you can select from here uh, either uh, gallon is not specified here, so you can select the liter, uh, or you can say liter. Similarly, you can add one more for the gallons, and so you can add one more for the uh, for the pounds if not available. So you can this any units you are required to assign your uh, resources, you can add it here. So once you define all your units uh, of measure, just click okay, okay here, and then go again. A resource uh, project name and click plus uh, plus button from the right it will open the resource id so our resource id is r5 a aluminium carp uh, cladding just type the full name for facade then go to next then this is our labor resource because this is a uh, person so it is a labor resource and uh, then next and then units time and price from here between uh, if you are using uh, as i say before that if you are using prevera for the, your cost management also you can uh, you can use the price uh, uh, units uh, uh, rate here also but normally this type of information are not shared with the client and the consultant but if consultant is asking you can put the unit price from the boq in the boq there's a uh, the, uh, there's a separate uh, item at the end of the project which is uh, like a day day units in the day units uh, are the separate bill which is specified only the rate of the major resources and uh, major uh, major resources material and labor so from there you can put any uh, the required rate for example if the aluminum cladding facade labor are mentioned there you can put the price unit price from there 
or if not then uh, it is not a big issue you can skip this one from here you can put the company phone and email address for the resource if it is a resource like for example project manager normally they are uh, there on the company payroll so you can put their uh, uh, phone number and email address and similarly if there are some resources are company base uh, or company payroll you can put their uh, your company phone number and their email address or hr email address uh, for the information let's go next Role, role, role can be defined as in the primary that so for example some resources are have enough experience that you can assign them as a charge hand or supervisor or a foreman so you can make these rules are here the rules uh, can be fine in enterprise in enterprise rules you can go and make rule from there and make the uh, select the rule from here then resource calendar select an existing calendar so i just select the existing calendar it is always advisable to use the resource calendar same as the activity calendar so that there is no conflict between the two weeks. if you select the different calendar there is a possibility that the resource are uh, not available on the day uh, as per the activity id calendar so in this case it will show you a delay so it is always recommended to use the same calendar for activities and the resources so once you define this one go next Already we have uh, they give you the uh, uh, existing calendar which is R3C10. So this calendar we are using. So this same calendar we are using for our activity also. Also, so we keep the same and go next. And auto compute actuals just keep the default setting from here. As you see, as we discussed until before, that uh, if you allow prime, you allow Primera to compute the actual uh, automatically instead of you are going to insert input. Then next and the congratulations, congratulations, your resources created. So once your resource created, just finish, click the finish button. Now we are going to activity windows. So you go go activity windows from the you just follow my mouse. These are uh, we are in the resource window. This is our activity window. So you can go activity window from here also. And similarly on the left uh, on the uh, on the left hand side there is a one vertical menu. From here you can select activities. So if you go select activity, you can find that you can see that. Our, uh, our bottom resource uh, profile are shown. You can go view and the, from the shown bottom resource spreadsheet or similarly go view shown bottom resource uses profile. So you can see here that our resources are shown. This is yellow color shows you the budget unit. If you see the legend here and the red color shows that the overloaded, so our allocated early units. So means that this all resources are shown are or allocated means our we, our project have no enough resources so before going to this setting just right click here and go to resource usage profile option here you can select the colors for example our budget is shown with the blue color if you want to show with other color like for example this red or this uh, dark blue this right this is dark blue so it's not looks good so we keep the same resource usage profile option and from here we just select the yellow color this is the same this is the one so you can see that our resource uses profile for example if you have if you go here our resources and uh, from here you can see that display all resources you just follow my mouse display all resources just open this, just click this uh, drop down arrow and from filter select current project resources only and from here if you go that rr5 carpenter so this is the profile for the carpenter it shows that it shows that our resources are our allocated means we don't have enough resources so we just go in the resource resources from here either from the top from the resource window and you have carpenter so if you go in the carpenter and you see the general this all information we already discussed code we already discussed details and then you have uh, unit and prices here you can see that our resource is working 1.25 hours per day so normally if you go and check our calendar enterprise calendar our before going to calendar we just go activity and in the activity if you go in the view and show bottom uh, details and you can see that our resources any resources uh, general you can see that our calendar is r5 c10 the calendar here and just go to resources here again okay and rtct this is the activity calendar here 
so if you go here and you see that our resources are 1.25 hours per day so normally our calendar is 8 hours per day if you go into enterprise calendar and you say rr3 rrcc10 so we just find with rrcc10 rrcc10 calendar so just click calendar and go to modify in the modify you can see that we have eight hours working per day normally construction companies they are using 10 hours working per day so but this calendar is using eight hours so i'm i'm following the same calendar i just click ok and you can see we are using only 1.25 hours per day so we just make it eight hours or oh, from here you say may effective date means this resource will be available from 1st january and maximum units of per day for example uh, if we are going to provide eight uh, carpenters then it will it means that we have to provide 80 uh, uh, maximum units per time so now if you go into the activities you can see that and view show bottom activity usage profile so now you can see that we don't have uh, any red and all our resources are uh, under the uh, allowable limit this black color line shows you the uh, allowable limit so it means that we have over resources which is the waste and waste uh, and loss for the company so it means that we can reduce the resources and go into uh, go into resources again and instead of 40 uh, 80 resource uh, 10 uh, carpenter we can provide five carpenters so we just put 40 and now see if you go at it here you can see that our resources are now properly aligned we don't have that much uh, access and only sometimes we have some this uh, over allocated but we have some uh, we have some under allocation this areas you just follow my mouse but on the other hand we have some over allocation also this our allocation can be uh, put in the uh, using the resource labeling so that they, they can be uh, adjusted so here you can see in the month of february we have exactly the same required but in uh, march and april and may and june we have uh, under allocation means we have more resources available but in july august we need a more carpenter so in this way you can uh, determine how is the resources available or provided are enough for the activities or no Accordingly, you can request to uh, uh, to uh, request or demand more carpet, uh, more resources from the company, or if you have uh, excess resources, you can release it for release them for the new other projects. So I hope that this uh, information uh, for adding the resources and uh, uh, analyzing the available resources is helpful for you, and it give it give you some new ideas, uh, ideas to you. And if you consider and like it, please uh, share and subscribe this channel and share this video with your uh, other planning engineer and friend. And I will try to make some more useful video for our fellow planning engineer. Until that time, thank you very much for your time again. See you next time. Take care and bye bye.